there are very few risk factors for the development of pancreas cancer, which then means that identifying people at high risk is close to impossible. Uh, oftentimes, uh, many of us in medicine say that the only risk factor for the development of pancreas cancer is being a nice person. Because if you spent every Tuesday with me when I see patients, um, you would be struck by the fact that they're wonderful uh, people. Uh, oftentimes in the prime of their lives, in their late 50s, 60s, 70s, and now 80s, uh, a small fraction of patients with pancreas cancer may have what I refer to as the Patrick Swayze phenotype. Uh, they started smoking as a teenager, were heavy smokers all along, and it is true that uh, uh, there probably is a small percentage of pancreas cancer that is tobacco related. There also may be a small percentage of pancreas cancer that is related to diet and obesity. Uh, the classic uh, patient who brings this to mind is Luciano Pavarotti who also died of uh, pancreatic adenocarcinoma. And there is a relationship between the duct cell that gives rise to pancreatic adenocarcinoma and the islet cell that makes insulin. And the thought being that repeated exposures of high concentrations of insulin and glucose may help transform the duct cell into cancer. But it's safe to say that a very tiny percentage of pancreas cancer incidence is secondary to diet and obesity. A small percentage is related to uh, tobacco use. Uh, an even smaller percentage is due to inherited syndromes of high risk. So for example, families that have a mutation in the breast cancer gene, the BRCA or BRCA mutation, are at increased risk for pancreas cancer, of just a slight increased risk. Patients with hereditary non-polyposis colon cancer are also perhaps at a slightly increased risk. And there may be actually a non-syndromic inherited form of pancreas cancer which runs in a very, very few families uh, that is uh, unrelated to other known genes and is caused by an as yet unknown gene uh, in a small mutation somewhere in the DNA. Uh, but the problem for those of us trying to develop an early diagnostic test is that the overwhelming majority of patients with pancreas cancer look the same. And if you were out walking in downtown Milwaukee, uh, clearly you would pass someone over the course of a day who was destined to get pancreas cancer, and they would look, like, they would look just like everyone else that would pass you on the sidewalk. Um, they have not abused their bodies. They've taken care of themselves. Uh, they've lived a healthy life and they, will, uh, they are destined to develop this disease. The problem is, is we, as of yet, can't figure out who that is.